is Sylvia Farsi, and I am on the air with Mike King. He is widening the lens of humanity, and I am so happy to be a part of his journey. Hey, RBA, this is the Tam. You know another guy named Mike? Make sure you check out my main man, Mike King Biz. Monday to Friday, 5 to 7 a.m. on Sports 106. One. On the mic. With Mike. In the Tampa of Business Talk Radio. You're starting to irritate me. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to On the Mic with Mike. Mike King here. That's another Mike, but I'm not saying who it was. Uh, it is who you think it is. That's all I'm going to say. This is part of the Mike King Biz Media Network, ESPN Rich 106.1, where we talk to the best and the brightest. It is the Brian and Stratton Hour. Beth Murphy back in the building. Welcome back, ma'am. It's great to be here. It is always some really great things happening when you show up, Artie. Uh, so the elevator pitch for Brian and Stratton. Well, we are, excuse me, I got, got excited. Friday, I got excited. Um, we are a career college that will be celebrating its 170th anniversary next year. Um, we are focused on getting people educated in careers that are in demand. And most of our graduates, which they'll be close to 400 this year, work and reside in the Chesterfield area. We just had graduation a couple weeks ago, 77 people, dreams came true. The dreams came true, and you made it happen. They were in Bryan and Stratton. They came to become part of the family. Really quick, now, you give me talking points. Yes, you do, <laughs> to keep me, you keep me on focus. People come back to Bryan and Stratton for multiple degrees. They do. Isn't that crazy? And what I'm particularly proud of is that so many of our students – went somewhere else or delayed their education because they had had a bad experience. They didn't enjoy high school or they didn't have a great traditional college um, first or second year. And they come to us and not only do we get them a degree in a field of study where there's in-demand jobs, but we also reignite their love for education. And so when people come back for their second degrees or they reach out to me and say, guess what, Beth, I went on to earn my master's. I, I can't tell you how happy that makes me. And so, and, they, and you see them on campus and they're around campus and next thing you know, the graduates see that's what success looks like. Yeah, and I see our graduates not just on campus, but when I go to out into local businesses, to our hospitals. I, I see them everywhere. I've got to be careful how I dress and act, Mike, because, because they're you know, everywhere. You guys got the whole family. <laughs> That's at the, right. It is a family atmosphere on campus. We talk about that every time. Just come there, check it out. Like you said, it's not the place to find yourself when people went to college and they were in that six-year plan trying to find themselves. It's a very, very focused environment. And we're so lucky in Virginia because there's so many great ways for people to obtain higher education. Bryan and Stratton College is a very personalized um, setting. It's smaller classes. We're going to know your name. We're going to recognize if you're not in class and call you on it. Um, but it is an environment where many individuals have been able to find success. And I'm just pleased to be affiliated with it. I was just at an event this morning, and they talked about the number of students college students within 150 miles of Richmond, 1.7 million. It's crazy. Again, we have so many great institutions of higher education. And I encourage people as they're looking at colleges and thinking about next steps after high school to really explore because you've got your traditional routes, but you also have a strong community college um, set up. You have Brian and Stratton College. There's so many different ways to get that higher education. Brian and Stratton, the premier educational facility institution on the south side in Chesterfield. Okay, now you were you're out traveling. You went so Brian and Stratton. There are 17 campuses and an online division. There are, and so I was this week in Albany. And a lot of times people don't realize that we have multiple locations. I did not. Yeah, so we're in four states. Um, if you include all of our campuses in our online division, we actually educate about 10,000 students. Um, that's how many started for the fall, and. Because of our setup, it allows us to do some really cool things. So you know that we do the online education, the in-person. We do blended. And we also do remote. And so we've got people in Richmond who are taking real-time classes with an instructor who's up in Syracuse, New York, or out in um, Ohio. And so it allows our students more opportunities to get that schedule that works for them. 
we come through the pandemic, we had the conversation, the blended, the remote, all those things. You guys kept marching. We kept all marching. It. We did. But it allowed people to get to you and use your use the facility, use the Bryan and Stratton institution without having to come into the location. It was so important to us to keep our students moving because our employers count on us. You know, if we shut down and we weren't putting out our nursing graduates into the community, think about all that would have been lost. And so I'm really proud that we kept moving. And I believe we came out of it better because we do have more options now to deliver the classroom material. Yeah, on the mic, Mike, you know, one of the great parts about having your own radio show is I get to talk to the experts. Years ago, I mean, when they talk about the number of men and women in college, it's a, va a big majority. I noticed that at graduation, that there are a lot more women graduating. Uh, and someone was in the other day, and they're wondering, they're like, well, I wonder why that is. But the guys who are there are happy to be there. <laughs> and it's funny that it seemed like a number of them are in the nursing program. Well, nursing is our number one program on campus, and obviously the job forecast for nursing looks really good. So it's in demand whether you're male or female, young or old. Yeah, and there, <laughs> there is a place for everyone there. Brian and Stratton, the and, and the new tagline that you guys have is? Built different for you. And it's built different for you because the you is different. There are 19-year-old yous and 55-year-old yous all in Brian and Stratton. And your you can also change while you're with us. So maybe you started and you wanted to be full-time in person, and then something happened. I mean, we have students who will have babies while, while they're with us. And so now all of a sudden that online remote option becomes very important, the evening classes. And so I love how we're able to adjust to individuals and also to the individuals as their needs change. All right, Beth Murphy here, Brian and Stratton's finest. All righty, so you guys are always out in the community. Uh, Okay, so you have something big coming up. Mission tomorrow. Oh, my gosh. So I cannot wait. So next week, Chamber RVA sponsors Mission Tomorrow, and they partner with about 100 local employ employers to showcase careers to about 12,000 eighth graders, if you can picture this. So we're going to be down at the Richmond Speedway next week, Tuesday through Thursday, and we're going to meet all of these eighth graders and be able to just demonstrate all these different career offerings offerings and so brian stratton college will be there with health care big surprise mm -hmm. and then also it um and so i just i think it's just wonderful and i'm so impressed rich that the chamber rva is doing things like this to help eighth graders begin to think about what do we want to do when we grow up because a lot of times it takes people a different amount of time to find out what you want to do when you grow up i never would have thought i'd be doing this never in a thousand lifetimes but you never know kids are out there finding things and there's so many, so many different employers out there, and you know a bunch of them, because you're out there, as you said, helping place or fostering relationships for students and interns and for employment. Because we've had the conversation about, you know, career services. Like when you start career services, like when you hit the door. We're prepping you for a career the day the day one. We start talking about it at orientation. It's so important that our students be exposed to employers because employers are such a big piece of that educational process. You know, in the classroom, you're not learning about what a, being a nurse is. You're learning that when you're out on the clinical site, when you have the employers come and talk to you firsthand about their experiences as you're doing the internships. Our employers are just incredible, and I'm so um, so grateful for them. So the employer, what the employer gets, cutting edge students who are who are learning the latest and greatest. Right, and they also have the opportunity because, you know, studies show that if you do an internship or a clinical with an employer, you're more likely to go with them they after know you, you graduate. And you right. know them. Exactly. And so it's a great way for employers to get a, a, a step ahead in regards to hiring, too. All right, so employer who is out there, what do they need to do to engage with Brian and Stratton so that uh, they can get in on to having – interns not interns you, you know students yeah um you can call the college and ask for me uh, is the simplest way um i meet new employers all of the time and i'm happy to sit down and explore ways that we might partner be it 
be part of a job fair, come out and talk to their employer, their employees, um, have them sign up for to be an internship site, excuse me. So there's many, many ways that we can partner. There's not just a cookie cutter way. You talk to any, you talk to a bunch of people, yeah, but you know there's going to be one thing that's going to come up that the person is shocked with. They're going to have that question of, it happens every time. What's that question about Brian and Stratton? I think they're usually surprised how long we've been around. I mean, to hear that we've been here for, like I said, 170 years next year, that's that's a biggie. Um, so, But it also shows our ability to adjust, but also stay focused on our mission. We've never lost sight of the fact that we're a career college. Career college, making, making magic happen for people. So I always ask you, so people know about IT, people know about nursing. Those are, those are big ones. And a couple weeks ago, you told me child care. Child, early childhood education. Okay, what's another one that people be shocked uh, to hear? Um, business, um, human and health sciences, um, hospitality. Those are our biggies. Those are the biggies. Those ones. are the biggies. Um, a lot of times also people are surprised um, that we offer diploma, associate degree, and bachelor's. And so, like, our associate degree of nursing gets a lot of attention. But we also do a diploma in nursing, which mm -hmm. leads to um, LPN. Um, and we also, oh, this is big news, Mike. Uh oh, hold on. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Big news. Hold up. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. I got something to okay, do. Okay, you got something? Okay. We, Bring we, out we, your we, toy because I got big no news. Beth, Beth Murphy's here with big news. <laughs> <laughs> so, by, by talking to our employers, medical assisting, we offer an associate degree in medical assisting. And I've been talking to employers, and they said, Beth, can you get medical assistance to us faster? And so we are going to start in January a diploma program in medical assisting, which means that if a student goes full-time in one year, they'll be able to complete that diploma and be employable. So the day that they graduate with that diploma, they're out ready to work. They're, they better be. Now, <laughs> all of a sudden, they realize... They want to take the next step because I hear it over and over. I graduated. It was a big day. And next thing, I'm ready to go back to Brian and Stratton while I'm working for the next step. And the good news is because we're still keeping an MA associate degree, students who graduate from our diploma program, they'll have to demonstrate some competencies, but then they can come into the associate degree and just keep on moving. There you go, Brian and Stratton. All right, big month for you guys. It's pink out this month. Let's it's talk pink about out. that. It's pink out. So um, we, as an institution of education, obviously we want people to be aware of breast cancer. We want to raise that awareness. And so we are selling um, pink Bobcat T-shirts. I need to bring you one. I'll yes, bring you. I'm it, sorry I didn't bring yes. one today. I'll bring you, know, you one. I'm, I'm out there styling my Brian and Stratton stuff. I love it. But um, students and staff and faculty are making donations to um, – raise money to promote the awareness of breast cancer and then next friday we're all going to wear our pink shirts and get a big picture hopefully you know if everything goes well but it's just it's really important we've had um people within our community that have been touched and and it's a, a passion project for us already uh beth murphy is here. i always talk to her we talk about great things pat you know passion uh culture all the things that make brian and stratton a great place uh just had graduation a couple weeks ago. Where are we in the process now? How long have students been in this semester? So we're about four some four weeks in. So we're like a third, to almost um, a third done, um, and because we'll finish up the semester in December, um, and then we'll roll into another graduation in January. Because we keep going, Mike. You know, it's three semesters a year, um, so we have three opportunities a year to put more graduates out into the workplace. Um, so yeah, we're just chucking along. And you 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 made a point before. You didn't want the graduates to have to to wait for somebody else's graduation. This is theirs. So December's class, they're gonna graduate. It's gonna be a big day. All of the hoopla is gonna happen. We roll right in. So a person can go and register for January. January. Yes, so we've started, we've already started the registration process. And if you're interested in a healthcare area, especially, that takes a minute because you have to do drug tests and physicals and all that. So if you're at all thinking about going back to school in January, now's the time to, to start that process. Because the other thing that comes up is the holidays. And so all of a sudden, right in November, we get so distracted by everything else that we might end up delaying something that we really, really wanted to do. And, and 
you know, let's start the new year strong. Let's, if you're thinking about going back to school, let's pursue that now versus waiting until May. There you go, Beth Murphy. Thank you for coming in. On the mic of Mike, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Don. Take care.